What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? this dog on hold. I literally grab the orange ticket, I pull out my cell phone and I'm recording all the way through. So that is the first reaction. So whether the dog's excited, whether the dog is sleeping, whether the dog is scared in a corner and I gotta go really slow with it, that is the first reaction. Is this for you? Is this for you? Are you able to be adopted? You are, sweetie, you're on hold. You're gonna be here tomorrow. And then you're gonna have a proper family. We are a nonprofit organization. We rescue dogs from puppy mill situations. We take in owner surrenders and dogs that are at high volume kill shelters that are usually next in line to be euthanized. Buster, I got something for you. You got a bed, yeah. From the moment I started, I absolutely loved it. I get to work with the dogs. I get to spend time with the dogs and then um, I get to socialize them, get them ready for adoption, and then you get to see the dog go home, which ultimately is the best part of the job. You can see it on their face the first time that they're seeing that dog, that it's it's like love at first sight. They immediately fall in love with them, and then you just know that that dog is going to be a part of the family. The worst part is watching a dog get surrendered to the shelter. If we don't let the dog watch the owners leave, like actually leave the building and then leave the parking lot. Most dogs will continue to look for their owner in the cage. And the worst part would be as I have to hold the dog at the front door as they're watching the owner leave. A lot of people say that dogs understand us or they understand what we're saying. I don't know if that's true or not, but me sitting in the cage, me telling them that it's gonna be okay. I can see the comfort in their eyes. I can see that they know they're not in a bad place. And after a couple of days, they start to come around. They, they understand that's when the hold period comes off and I'm able to start looking for homes for them. It's impossible to not fall in love with these dogs. You see a dog that is is sad and then you get to see the dog finally get its forever family. <laughs>